Okay, so also important is understanding how to manipulate a data uh, within a cell. So let's again uh, just practice this in our Excel files. If I'm in cell C4, so 2020 gross profit, hit F2. So if I hit F2, F2 is the command that puts you inside a cell. And guys, remember if you haven't uh, changed your FN function key, then you might have to hit FN plus F2. Within cell C4, press the shift and the left arrow key until C3 is highlighted. And then press control shift left arrow twice. And you'll notice that C2 is instantly highlighted. So that's kind of a similar idea to editing outside of the cells where shift arrow key uh, takes one cell at a time, whereas control shift arrow key uh, will use the whole, uh, the whole range there. Uh, if that's not working for you, depending on your keyboard layout, you might have to be hitting command shift right arrow, and that should work the same way. Okay, so if I were to hit backspace or delete here uh, and press enter, of course, it's going to update my formula. But let me press control Z or command Z and delete this. And before pressing enter, hit escape. See that that allowed me to undo any of the changes that I was making inside the cell. So remember, hit escape before you press enter and none of the changes that you put in there uh, will actually be um, used. Now, let's look at cell edit versus point mode. And hitting F2 is, uh, as a second time, is really helpful for when you get stuck. So go back into C4 and press F2, putting you inside again. So you're inside the cell. Now try to add cell C6. So let's press the plus button and my arrow key to go down to C6. And as you can see, it's not letting me do anything. But if you hit F2 again, it gets out of edit mode and into point mode. And now I can use my arrow key to uh, select cell C6. So hitting F2 again activates the cursor and enables you to move to different cells, worksheets, and you can even open Excel files. And you should see a dotted border when you move to any of these new locations. So again, hitting F2 will get you unstuck.